I'm Michelle Makeda, and I think Lionel Messi is the best player in the world. I'm Monica Morales, and I know Cristiano Ronaldo is the best player in the world. And, and this, this is Face Off. So round one, the stats don't lie. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is obviously the best player in the world. Just look at his last 12 months, he's won basically everything. Two Champions League back to back, one La Liga, the European Champions League, the Ballon de Oro, and he's definitely going to be winning his fifth next year, so he's obviously the best. All right, that might be right, but if you actually look at it at an individual standpoint, Messi was the top scorer, he broke records, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo in Portugal basically had to piggyback off his team to actually make it to the final. They made it by luck. They only won because he was in the sideline. They started playing as a team and that's how they won and they won by chance and penalties which would go 50-50. He scores goals with everything, with his head, with his left foot, with his right foot, free kicks. Um, Messi really isn't that good. He's only good with one of his legs. Messi starts creating plays all the way from the back. Like he's the one-two touches, great on his feet, great at making passes, creating mm -hmm. plays, creating all these assists. He's like everything that builds up to the play rather than just finishing. Ronaldo is the better player. Round two, personal life. Now, I, <laughs> I have to say, Messi keeps his life pretty private, unlike Cristiano, who's constantly seeking for attention. His Instagram is probably the most like, nauseous thing I've ever seen. I actually love that Cristiano puts everything on his Instagram. He's the third most followed person on Instagram. And it's great to see as a fan his personal life, his family, his friends, what he does on his off time. And I think that's something that lots of fans would love to see about Messi, but don't. And Cristiano obviously wins in that category. But when you have tons and tons of pictures of yourself, like, dude, you don't have to be that egocentric. So yeah, I mean, Messi is a family man, so is Cristiano. He just became a father to two beautiful twins, a boy and a girl, Mateo and Eva. And Cristiano Jr. obviously, and there's rumor to be his, his girlfriend is rumored to be pregnant with his fourth child. So he's on his way into, into building his own soccer team. You have to admire Leo Messi's and Antonella's love story, honestly. We are in the 21st century too. People do things differently. The way oh no, all have, props to Cristiano. Yeah, I mean, I think he, he's a big lover of children, so. Let him have more children. <laughs> <laughs> Cristiano is the most charitable person in the world. Let me tell you why. He is a, a spokesperson for many charities that focus on children in developing countries. He recently did a video where he supported Syrian refugees. I'm glad you mentioned Syria because, uh, you know, Messi also wants to help. He focuses on three things. He supports health, sport, and education. And in Syria, he built 20 classrooms uh, just to help with the kids over there. He's also trying to uh, cover funds to open up a new hospital in Barcelona, Spain to help kids with cancer. So how adorable is that? Round four, the glow up is real. You have to admit, the Cristiano Ronaldo's past was probably a um, horrible scene, I have to add. Cristiano had lots of acne, but he overcame that. He is now such a beautiful man, as we can tell in the poster. Overcame or paid for it? Um, so he only got his teeth fixed. That's all he got. Everything else is exercise. Messi, on the other hand, has some has been trying to rock the blonde hair, which does not work. He's not Neymar, so he needs to stop with that. Yeah, at so least weird. it's puberty and not money paying for transformation. It's just the teeth. Everyone who has the ability to spend money would like to maybe change just their teeth. Just a shout out to everyone that you're not ugly, you're just poor. Sorpresa! Tenemos una ronda especial simplemente para ustedes. Para esta ronda especial, mi argumento es que Ronaldo es mejor que Messi porque Messi no ha ganado un campeonato con su selección y Ronaldo acaba de ganar la Euro el año pasado. Quizás Ronaldo tenga la Euro del año pasado, pero como quiera, en números, Messi está sobresaliendo. En diferencia de edades 32 y 30, lo que ha alcanzado Messi en goles, en asistencia, en sus trofeos que lleva 30 trofeos con su equipo, versus Ronaldo con sus 18 nada más que lleva más tiempo jugando. Cristiano cuando cae al piso empieza con el lloriqueo, tirando las manos. Simplemente se ven videos de cuando no le pasan la pelota y el, el, el compañero anota, él se molesta también. Sí es cierto que a veces cae muchas veces porque él sabe que porque no le pasaron la pelota, él pudo haber anotado ese gol. Pero eso es ser bien egoísta. Honestamente, estás trabajando en equipo y simplemente de, en vez de 
apoyar a tu equipo, estás en simplemente enseñando de qué contra. Eh, sí. La persona que tienes anotando soy yo. Es cierto, pero siempre en el fútbol hay que ganar, hay que anotar el gol. Entonces, si Cristiano vio que perdió la oportunidad B, entonces, ¿por qué no le pasó a él la pelota? No sé. Hubiera Messi ganado. siempre celebra, el que, le, el que le hace la asistencia siempre celebra con él. Eh, cada vez que él anota, él tiene su celebración. También Cristiano, el, el grande, sí, es su, es su, es su Pero celebración celebra, grande. celebra él solo, a Messi le encanta no, celebrar No, él celebra en siempre, grupo. hay videos de él celebrando con Marcelo bailando, con James bailando, entonces también celebra con sus compañeros. No sé, a Messi le encanta celebrar a la persona que pues le dio la oportunidad. Sí, pero de todas maneras, si seguimos discutiendo quién es mejor, a Messi le falta ese campeonato con su selección. Y le va a llegar. Ojalá, pero a Cristiano le va a llegar el Mundial el próximo año. Lo dudo. 